Okay, so I was supposed to make a Windjammer review a long time ago, like a year or half a year ago or something, but I needed time to go through the seasons and everything. So now that I've gone from summer to winter to spring, which is basically summer here, <laughs> so I figure since I just took the Windjammer off this morning, I thought I would make a little review of how I feel about it. And up till now, I've had it on my helmet for at least half a year, so... Now, what have I noticed from doing this? What I have to say is, I didn't notice it at first. <laughs> I was riding, you know, going 30 miles per hour on the side roads, and then I went up to like 40 on this road, and I didn't notice. I, I actually forgot I took it off. Now, it is like 90 degrees here, like 85 to 90. So the only thing I would notice is if wind is coming in and hitting me in the face and the eyes and the mouth and everything. I wouldn't feel really a temperature because it's so hot out. The fact that I forgot that I took it off <laughs> is telling me with this helmet, it's not really needed during the summer at all. During the winter, totally different story. Because during the winter, it's to me, I'm freezing to death. I need a scarf. I need a big old jacket to just to not freeze to death. So yeah, I didn't really notice a difference when I took it off. The one thing I did notice, though, is everything. I could hear everything around me better. I wasn't so much in a bubble. During the winter, you want to be in a bubble, trust me. You want to be all bundled up, if you're me. <laughs> But right now, during the summer, it's not really... I do feel like I have to talk louder to hear myself. And that's probably because of the whole bubble thing. Like, you're so enclosed, you can hear yourself perfectly fine. Um, it, I don't think it's so much that more wind is going into my helmet. I think it's just the fact I can hear everything. I can hear my bike louder. I can hear the wind. I can hear the other cars, maybe even the ambulances, which was a problem I was starting to have. I wasn't able to hear the ambulances with the windjammer on. Now I'm not saying the windjammer is a bad thing. I'm just saying that's something to be, that's something to know that it does block out a lot of your outside um, hearing. Everything outside your helmet is going to be reduced. It, I guess it's kind of like the equivalent, equivalent of having earplugs in. You just hear less of everything. Okay, so when would I recommend to use the wind jammer? During the summer, I don't think it matters at all. You could just take the thing off and um, what I would do is stick it to itself because it has sticky stuff on the insides. Stick it to itself so it, like the stickiness is preserved or whatever. Or you can stick it back to the plastic sticky stuff that came with it. That's what they recommended to do, but I, for some reason, tossed mine out. <laughs> so I just stuck it back to itself and put it back in its little Ziploc or any Ziploc. And that's how you keep it for next year, <laughs> next year's winter. Basically, I would, I, I think I'm only gonna use it during the winter. I'm not gonna use it during the summer. Um, I did use it during the summer or spring, technically. I did use it for months in this temperature and I just, it's not bad, it's just, it makes you in a big bubble and it's harder to put your helmet on and it's just unnecessary. It's not helping anything. It's not really hurting anything, but it's not helping anything either. So might as well just take it off during the summer. During the winter is where it really makes a difference because the temperature of the wind, it helps a ton. Uh, yeah. I just had something hit my neck. If I had the wind jammer on, it wouldn't have hit my neck. <laughs> That's one more reason if you have a lot of dirt everywhere. Wear the wind jammer, it won't hit your neck and stuff. Anyway, so during the winter, yes, absolutely, wear the wind jammer. This one is the Pro Tour version, which is not released as far as I know. I couldn't find it. It was kind of like I was beta testing their product or something, so. And I like it. It has the little chin, I mean, a, um, it has a scarf built in with a zipper, and so it protects your neck and everything from all the temperature. Now, the regular windjammer, 
I haven't really tried it. I only tried this one with the scarf built in, so I would imagine they're about the same, just, you know, give or take the fact that it has a scarf built in. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually really surprised I didn't notice at all, like, <laughs> hey doggy. I didn't notice at all that I took the wind jammer off. I totally forgot. I was like, wow, I didn't even notice. Now, on my other helmet, my, my first helmet ever, it was a little too big for me, but also it let in so much wind that it was just lifting my helmet off my head on windy days, and I, I mean, it was just vibrating everywhere, going and everything. On that helmet, or a helmet like that, where it's letting so much wind in, I think the, the wind jammer will help. But on a helmet like this one, this isn't even an expensive helmet. I think it's only like a 40 something dollar helmet or 50. But yeah, it's not like I have the highest quality helmet or anything. But anyway, my point is on a helmet, a decent helmet, you're not going to need it during the summer. You just, you'll want it during the winter if you're getting too cold, if your face is cold, your neck is cold. Yeah, it's going to help a ton. I'm not sure if I said this already, but when I took the wind jammer off and put my helmet on for the first time, after being used to having the wind jammer on, I was like, oh my gosh, I could put my helmet on. I could just slip it right on. <laughs> so that was a big difference. Because with the wind jammer, I, I really had to relearn how to put the helmet on. It was crazy. After you get used to it, after a couple weeks, it's no big deal. It's just routine. But when you take the thing back off, and you put your helmet on like a normal helmet would be. It's like, whoa, what have I been missing? <laughs> yeah, I just put my visor up out of, um, out of habit, and I don't feel a difference. Like, it wasn't needed to put it up. It's just habit. Usually, when I had the wind jammer on, I had to put my visor up when I was stopped because I couldn't breathe, and I would feel a difference. Like, <laughs> it puts you in so much of a bubble that you have to lift it up. Another thing is during the winter, having the wind jammer will promote fogging on your helmet because it's all closed up and everything, so that's gonna happen. So yeah, the wind jammer has advantages and disadvantages. During the winter, the, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages for sure. You just gotta kind of deal with some of the disadvantages of it, but I would say keeping warm is definitely a good thing because there was times I was cold and oh my gosh, I drove off the road because I, I was so stiff from being cold, I just couldn't turn. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> that was a few years ago, but yeah. Ugh. So I am super afraid of being cold now. So during the summer, I would say the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. And during the winter, I'm not sure about highway riding. I, someone asked me about that. Like for 70 plus miles per hour, my bike obviously can't get up that high. It's a scooter, it's a 150. So I don't know for something like that. I've been going 40, 40, around 40 this whole time. Maybe 45 at some points. And I'm not really feeling a difference in wind, but I'm sure if your helmet lets in a lot of wind, it'll make a huge difference. And at highway speeds, I might feel a little difference with this helmet. Again, I don't have the most expensive helmet. I have a pretty cheap helmet, actually. Highway speeds, I can't speak for. I would only guess it will help, at least a little, but I can't speak for it. <laughs> so basically, if, if you're going to be doing some cold winter riding or something, and, or if your helmet lets in too much air, and it's actually lifting your helmet off of your head and everything, then, then you could probably benefit from using the wind jammer.